hello 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 welcome back to my channel once more if you are my returning subscribers you all know that you are the real mvps then if you are new to this channel it's your girl the cashews welcome 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 to the family so on today's episode guys we'll be doing get to know me back you get to know some you know fun facts about me so guys stay glued and let's get into this video so guys the first question says what is your full name my full name is ibida ifatu uzana then the second question says what course did you study in school guys i studied mass communication in square record maybe university in Bahariam campus, formerly known as Anambra State University. Guys, the top question says, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Guys, I love vanilla flavor. <laughs> oh God, the goodness in that vanilla air. Maybe that will be a juice for another day. Then the next question says, what, the thing, what is the thing I find most attractive in a person? Guys, I love people that are positive in everything they do. Then I love people that are positive in everything they do. Then I love people that are, that are kind, you know, kindness. Kindness should be the answer to that question. So guys, next question says, my alcoholic drink of choice. Guys, I don't really do alcohol. I don't really do alcohol, but let's just... It's going to be funny because this one does not even have much percentage of alcohol, but let's just go into... Star Radler. Star Radler or Smell of Ice is my alcoholic choice of drink. So, what smell do you hate? Guys, I hate the smell of medicine. But, pregnancy happened. I have to take antenatal drugs for the good health of my baby. Guys, what a eh, that time. It was terrible. <laughs> so, the next question says, What's my signature dish? Guys, my signature dish is jollof rice. Man, I love jollof rice. Be it anyhow with chicken, with ice fish, with beef, anyhow you cook jollof rice. That is my signature dish. Then the next question says, the most remote place I've ever been to. Hmm, guys, I will tell you what. <laughs> During my days in school, you know, my course there was mass communication, so we used to go on a field work. So there was this village in Ibarium, they sent us to, we call it village one. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. I've never been to that kind of village before. Like, the people there were so naive. Like, we, like we were sent to go and cover, and cover, you know, some events that is happening there, interview some people, even with our phone. They are, they are seeing us like kidnappers, like, oh God. I've never seen such a village in my life. So the most remote village I've ever been to is remote is village one in Ibarram. So the next question says, <laughs> my dream job. Man, during my childhood days, you know, I wanted to be a media personality. I wanted people to, you know, look as in view me in TVs and the rest of them. But here we are today. That is why that's one of the reasons why I decided to venture into YouTube. As you all can see, it's my passion. So my dream job was to become a media personality. Fortunately for me, I wrote jam and <laughs> they gave me my course, course of choice, which is mass communication. I'm grateful for that. Then let's wait and hold on what the future brings. Then the next question says <laughs> the most embarrassing job I've ever done. Guys. The most embarrassing job I've ever done is ushering work. Like during my school days, you know, I was thinking of some side works to do to be earning some money, you know. So one of my uncles then called me and was like, are you going to do an ushering work? I said, yes. Is it not money that they are going to pay? But guys, that was the most embarrassing job I've ever done. Even people that are not even meant to talk to you, we are just talking to you anyhow because of common food. And I was like, ah, ah. Does it mean that these people don't even eat at home? Is it not as dry as everybody is? But life happened. That's the most embarrassing job I've ever done so far. So the next question says, what was my first proper job? Guys, when I finished from school, 
you know, I was waiting for my youth service. I decided, like, I'm this kind of person that don't like staying idle. So I decided to go and look for a work. Fortunately, I got a job in a school where I worked as an admin before I went to youth service. I worked as I worked as an admin officer in the in the school, you know, with a little salary though, but we knew. So the most famous person who inspires me. Like guys, Christian says what was the worst moment of my life. Hmm, guys. The worst moment of my life was when I lost my mom in my final year. Like guys, it was a terrible experience. Like the doctors were billing us, they were not even considerate, and finally my mom was unable to make it. To our greatest chagrin, the doctors they like in the history of their medical profession did not seem like did not seem this kind of case. But who are we to question God? You know, life happens and we have to move on. But that's guys, that's the worst moment of my life. So the next question says <laughs> the next question says, what accent can you really do good or are you really good with? Hmm. I will make you